Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment I'm going to be talking about the Sun square or opposition the South Node in a natal chart. Now, um, first off, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube Astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in a natal chart and they were a little bit concise. Some people may have referred to them as snappy. So what I decided to do was make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, first thing up is, well, if you have the Sun square or opposite the South Node in a natal chart, well, you may have a difficulty focusing, um, which is the Sun, you know, on, uh, on your past. And, you know, if you have the South Node, you know, saying Virgo, you know, that past, you know, may be tied in. You know, with matters of analysis and you know, health and fitness, you know, nutrition, diet, you know, matters uh, pertaining to the routine, and you know, matters that were associated with sanitizing, cleaning, things of that um, nature. It could even be people that were prominent in your past, whether it would be, you know, it could be Virgo, actually Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or those that embody those characteristics. It could have been people that were very analytical, punctilious with details, verbose, wordy, um, organized, clean, but may have also been, you know, a little bit pedantic or, you know, overly critical or judgmental as some examples. Now, also, too, if you have uh, one of these aspects in an able chart, uh, there may be difficulty in shining, so to speak, which is the sun, you know, and what you are naturally, you know, proficient in, which is uh, the south node. You know, the south node, you know, say is in Taurus, you know, you may have been, you may be naturally proficient, you know, in matters, you know, just monetary matters in general, finance, banking, you know, matters that require, you know, persistence, stick to itiveness, or even it could be, you know, Taurus related field, you know, whether it could be something connected with agriculture, architecture, gardening, cultivation, geology, carpet laying, you know, finance, working as a pawnbroker, as some examples. And another way, you know, if you have the sun square or opposite the south node in the natal chart. Another way this may be expressed is that, you know, those natural built-in abilities in the south node, you know, may not um, always be beneficial to the ego, which is the sun. And, you know, the built-in abilities, you know, depending on, you know, the sign, you know, let's say, you know, you have the south node in Capricorn or the natal chart, and those built-in abilities maybe tied in, you know, with business acumen, you know, um, ability just generally to attain success, uh, gain greater social status, stature in life, or doing something Capricorn related, you know, which can include, you know, dentistry, accounting, you know, uh, architecture, construction, masonry, information technology, um, doing something with carpentry even, you know, as uh, some examples. And it doesn't mean that, you know, necessarily that the, you know, the South Node in, in that example, you know, the, you know in that, that manner or example, what have you, or in the fact that it's not, may not be beneficial to your ego doesn't mean it's completely negative. But what it is in terms of ego-related matters, it may not be, you know, something that would really you know, necessarily assist it. Um, but the thing too is though, you know, as far as these aspects may go, the biological father and dominant males, which is the son, you know, may not be, you know, advantageous in going away from the negative qualities connected with the south node position. Some cases may possibly exacerbate if you have the south node, you know, in Aquarius say, you know, that could be, you know, too much in you know, a rebellion or idiosyncratic behavior, being non-conforming, just for the sake of being non-conforming, being unorthodox, you know, doing things in an unorthodox manner, just for the sake of doing something in a unique manner, not because it was necessarily quicker or the better way, you know, and the thing is they could be, you know, the biological father and Don Mills may be you know, more about exacerbating 
you know, those negative qualities that are connected with the south node position as opposed to you know, helping you, uh, you know, get away from them at least to some degree, you know. And the thing about, you know, these aspects too, it could also be where it may be difficulty in putting attention, which is the sun, on what is needed uh, to be left behind, which is the south node. You know, the south node says in Sagittarius, as an example, there may be overly, you know, reckless behavior or, you know, being overly audacious, you know, extravagant behavior, you know, being too blunt in matters, you know, that those kind of things may be, need to be left behind, you know, being overly risk-taking to a fault where it can be strongly to your detriment. And it may be harder to put, you know, that sun focus or uh, attention you know, on it. If the south node is in Scorpio, is another example, it could be, you know, what, what is needed to be left behind could be matters of just being, you know, overly, you know, controlling or, you know, seeking power just for the sake of having it. It could be manipulative or jealous qualities. And it may be more difficult to put that attention, you know, on it if you have the sun square or opposite the south node in the natal chart. Now, another way that these aspects uh, may manifest or pan out in the chart, it can be, it may be trouble or difficulty in terms of having the vitality and energy, which is the sun, um, to do things that are connected. You know what the south node if the south node say is in leo as an example you know those things you know may be tied in uh, you know just it could be something with creativity it may be you know game production or design or doing something with sports or the military something that could be like an attention seeking endeavor or venture um, as some examples it could be even circus performing it may be acting you know anything that could be you know leo related and uh the thing is uh, another way you know sun square or opposite the south node and the natal chart may be expressed could be you know having the trouble you know finding that drive the motivation the incentive which is the sun you know for you know again for those activities you know having you know, that are associated with the south node the south node is in gemini and may simply be, you know, just manifold things in general, you know, diversity, communication, assimilating information, things that are connected with manual dexterity, which can include auto or refrigeration mechanics as some examples. And if you have um, one of these aspects in the natal chart, there may um, it may be trouble in terms of the awareness, being cognizant and conscious, which is the sun of the overdeveloped and redundant qualities that are associated with the south node. If you have the south node in Virgo, say, you know, it could be, you know, those overdeveloped and redundant qualities may be connected with overanalyzing, analyzing things to a point where it doesn't need to be analyzed. Again, as I've stated in previous videos, as an example, seeing the Dwad within the Dwad in astrology, doing things, breaking things down to a point where it doesn't, you know, um, where it's not, you know, necessary being overly, you know, obsessed, you know, with details, you know, it, it just, you know, things of that nature being, you know, cleaning something you know, two or three times when it only needs to be cleaned once, you know, it's really, um, and also too, um, another thing about these aspects, uh, it could also pan out where people from the past, which is the south node, you know, may have more of an adverse effect on, on your life, which is the sun in general, uh, than most. If you have your south node in Libra, you know, it could be people, you know, that may actually have a Libra sun, moon, or ascendant, or embody those traits. Could be people that are very charming, refined, diplomatic, tactful, cooperative, emphasize compromise, but may also be, you know, indecisive or overly um, ambivalent. And, you know, and, and those people may have, in that example, have an adverse effect. Um, on one's life. If you have, you know, the, the, the south node in Libra and the sun is in Cancer, 
it could be understandable because those South Node people may be very relationship oriented and, and very sociable while the Sun and Cancer, the basic fundamental character, would be very, you know, introverted and home oriented. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learned saying, stay well.